Hello, so this is Astro Games here and today I'm gonna show you how to make um, <coughs> to make magic uh, work with FL Studio 11 so <coughs> uh, don't worry about the version I think it's uh, the same for all but however we're gonna start the program sorry if my accent is not uh, very good very accurate but I'm not English so here you have um, your FL Studio and it's it's very simple so just follow uh, my steps and, and you will you're good to go so you have to open uh, the mixer and go to any channel you want for example the 8 okay and here you're gonna select your HD audio line input uh, in my case is this one I mean you have to select your guitar okay so or have this working you need to go to options audio settings and set the ASIO for all um, and then in your ASIO panel you're going to uh, select your line input so yeah so here you, you know my this is my microphone I can't use it because I'm using it uh, to record this and also I can use the output but I have my um, my TV like uh, my Nvidia drivers that send uh, the audio to the TV so I think you're gonna hear so don't worry about it so well you have to set up it so just uh, you're going here you have you will have this so you're going to open it by clicking on here and it you, you can open the things so you're gonna select your line input or well your guitar you're gonna click on it like this and then you're gonna well uh, put your output uh, the one you have and you're good to go so yeah so now you're gonna select uh, some insert and your uh, uh, audio line input or well your guitar so you're gonna connect your guitar to uh, your PC uh, I'm, I'm doing right now okay I don't know if you hear um, I connected it you know you, you see when I play it it shows like I am playing so there I go so I'm I have my guitar it's an acoustic one but uh, it really doesn't matter if it's uh, electric or acoustic in my case it's uh, electric acoustic and also if you have an just acoustic one you can put your microphone and you're good to go just uh, don't talk because if you talk obviously it's going to take the note of your of your voice but if you don't talk you're good to go I mean you can use a microphone for this you don't have to uh, uh, to wire your guitar to your PC so however we're gonna um, put magic I will use the 32 bits uh, version so I'm sure I, I, I won't have any problem on it so you have you can set uh, the, um, this uh, like you want I mean uh, yeah just set uh, this if you want to have auto tune of something or something just set it up I'm not gonna set it um, to any auto tune I mean it's this how it is uh, from defect I will let this and I'm gonna select events so I can make things like this and they will work so then you're gonna click here and at output or output port you're gonna select the port you want for example zero okay it's easy port zero you're gonna close this uh, and you're gonna make sure that when you play your guitar it doesn't uh, seem it's you're playing it on a first to you but if you uh, deactivate or I don't know yeah so if you quit the magic and you play it shows if it shows it's okay so put magic and it won't show anything so then you're gonna go to MIDI settings and here you're gonna select uh, Microsoft MIDI mapper I don't know if it works uh, here, but however, uh, you're gonna select this, and this is gonna be he like this, okay? Import, it's gonna be anything. You're gonna put the port you, you put on MIDI, 
and you're good to go. And now what you have to do is to add the channel and each channel you add, for example, let's say Massive. So we're gonna add Massive. And here in Massive, you're gonna go to the settings and at input port, you're gonna select the port. And you're good to go. So now, I'm um, sorry, you can put a thing like what you want. For example, I'm gonna blow the preset. Let's see why it is not working right now. Maybe it's because I'm um, recording it. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Magic, it's on the port zero. Then MIDI settings on port zero. So yeah, maybe it's because I'm um, I mean, I'm uh, recording because it works like this. I mean, if you're not recording, because I am, it will work. It just, it's gonna sound like the, the massive uh, thing. I mean, you put this and yeah, output port. Yeah, then you go MIDI settings and yeah, it's port zero. And yeah, there you go. You put it on your massive and it's good to go. So I think it's just sometimes it's because of the, um, you have to, oh yeah, it's that. So you have to pull very, very good the strings. If you don't want to make it that, you can just come here to eight, uh, well, to, 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 to your magic and put the sense up. Was that the problem, okay? Um, 85 is good to go. So 85, it's, it's a good one, then. I don't know if you heard it. Let's try another preset. Um, let's see. This is very, very strange one. Uh, let's see this one. You, you have? Yeah, you heard it. So there you go. Maybe you have to set this uh, better. I mean, the magic, for example, uh, the speed and the sense. Yeah, uh, this is better. Um, here, maybe you have to put a bit of gain. Yeah. And don't pull all the strings, like, don't strum, because this is what it's gonna be, I mean, very strange things. But if you do like this, it's gonna be good to go. Yeah, so there, there it is, how to set up MIDIC on FL Studio. Hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching and peace out.